everybody, it's me, the one girl who can't finish a fucking sentence before her family comes and interrupts her. Anyways, it's me, Super Nerd, and I am coming here for the second to be third time today to bring you Cosplay 2. This video is going to be frequently asked cosplay questions and my answers to those questions. My lovely camera is sitting on my laptop because on my laptop I have typed up a few questions that lots of people have or lots of beginner cosplayers have about cosplay conventions and whatever. So I'm going to be answering the most frequently asked cosplay questions. Let's go. So the first frequently asked question is, how do I know what character to cosplay? Now, this is entirely a personal answer. Um, there's a lot of reasons why people cosplay certain characters. Sometimes it's because they look cool or they maybe want to show off their body or um, it's a character that somebody really likes and can admire or who wants to be or a character that somebody can really relate to now i like to cosplay characters that i really relate to because um i used to be an actress and um stepping into a character's shoes is kind of my um like it's kind of my niche as they would say so that is why I cosplay characters is because I feel like I can relate to them and I can bring them to life in a really amazing way. So that's why I do it. But your reason may, may be completely different. But whatever reason you choose, just make sure it's the best for you. Second question, is my cosplay worse because it's store-bought? It seems like everybody makes theirs. Now, store-bought versus homemade costumes are a huge debate in the cosplay community. Um, a lot of people think that homemade costumes are better because they, um, it shows how much time and effort somebody has put into their character, and um, it may show more levels of experience than most. Um, while store-bought, it could just be seen as cheap or cop-out, or this person's too lazy to work on a character. But honestly, um, if you buy your costume, you are not worse than people that have made their costumes. Because certainly people can make really bad costumes like i have um exhibit a i made that and that was bad i i've luckily grown a lot since then and i can make more complex and better looking costumes but this is an example of why that homemade costumes aren't always the best and um if you buy your costume that is complete completely fine. Just do what makes you feel comfortable and what you think is going to work the best for you. If you think that you can make it, then just do it. You know, just be as creative as you want. You know, make a steampunk cosplay, make a futuristic cosplay, make your own cosplay, make your own character. You know, if you can think if you could do that, then great. You know, um, go to places like um, Goodwill or thrift stores. They can have great fabrics. Go to Joann's, Michael's, whatever they have great fabrics and they can also have classes to teach you how to sew if you don't know so but honestly is your cosplay is not worse if if you store store buy it or if you make it you know any cosplay can be great as long as you put the effort into it so yeah there's that one how do i make friends at conventions um now making friends at conventions is pretty easy because everybody there is usually in the same boat and you'll most likely meet somebody that in your fandom you know and if you don't know what a fandom is it's a group of people that like a certain thing so it's actually quite easy to make friends at conventions if you're really shy you know um you can ask somebody for a picture or something don't you know don't be shy most most people at conventions that you go to now i can't speak for the cosplay community as a whole but the conventions that i go to most of the people there are really sweet and they're really kind and they're really you know you're great people. So it's very easy to make friends of costumes. Just just don't be so hard on yourself. You know, just get out there and make some friends. All right. So the fourth question is, am I too young or too old to cosplay? Now, this is an obvious answer, but no. Cosplay has no retiree date. Of course, people can stop cosplaying for reasons such as they have bills to pay. You know, don't think that they can cosplay anymore because they feel like they've hit a certain limit. But honestly, there are so many great old characters. And seeing little kids cosplay is like one of the cutest things. Uh, like when you see like a little Rainbow Dash or a little princess or like um, a common one is like two new parents with a that cosplay. It's Cosmo and Wanda with the baby is poof. That is so cute. And honestly, there's no there's no age limit for cosplay. You could 
podcast by whatever age you want, you know? So yeah, how can I compare to people like Jessica Negri or Yaya Han? This is a um, very um, controversial topic, um, but honestly, a lot of the time with Jessica Negri and Yaya Han, it's Photoshop. Their waist cannot be that thin because that is Barbie waist thin, okay? So they are wearing corsets, bone corsets, you know, multiple push-up bras, you know, padded things. They are wearing a bunch of that, you know? So what you're seeing when you're seeing Jessica Negri and Yaya Han is a lot of Photoshop year, and years and years and years and years of experience in making costumes. Now, I'm not going to bring up whether they make their own costume or they have somebody make it for them. I'm not going to bring that up. That's for a different video. You know what? Do not think of Yaya Han and Jessica Negri when you cosplay because you are great and unique on your own. You are smart. You is a whole thing. So there's that one. Now, what about cosplaying as somebody of a different or unknown race, such as Cora, etc.? Now, this is also a controversial one because we have to, there's a line between cosplaying, cosplaying as someone as a different culture and cultural appropriation. It's getting more common now and more heated as our, um, you know, group, like, like as our um, visions change. Um, we are more of a PC friendly community. And there's characters such as Anna from Overwatch, or there's, you don't want any character from Overwatch, like Raya, um, May, Diva, you know, and a lot of, or like princesses like Jasmine or Pocahontas or, um, you know, and Korra, you know, and I think that it's okay to cosplay somebody of a different or unknown race, as long as you do not paint your skin or offend anybody, like somebody like Princess Tiana, an African-American princess, a beautiful African-American princess, and use that and paint your skin black. Because that is taking minstrelsy from the 18 to early 1900s and using their culture and appropriating. So yeah, that's my opinion. You can cosplay whoever you want as long as you do not appropriate their culture. And if you want more like information on that, I'm not the person to ask you because I'm white as milk. So ask somebody of the race of the person that you're cosplaying and ask them how they feel about it, you know? And that'll probably give you more insight. How much does cosplay cost? Um, honestly, it costs a lot of money. It costs a lot of money. Um, that's it. <laughs> I feel too fat, skinny, or unattractive while cosplay. Well, what if I made fun of? Now, I'm going to be real here, okay? If you're afraid of being made fun of in cosplay, you are not meant to be here in the cosplay community. Because most of the people that you will see at conventions are very nice. But there is a lot of people on the internet, I'm talking about you, 4chan, CGL, um, that will rip you to shreds. So you have to not have their opinion in mind. If you love your cosplay, if you love what you look like in your cosplay, you know what? Fuck what everybody else does, okay? Because that doesn't matter, you know? And you know what? You can cosplay anybody as no matter what size you are. Cosplay is not about size, you know? Um, as long as you pick a costume that fits you proportionally, you know, you'll be okay. You know what? Don't pick a costume that's too tight or too big because you don't want the girls to come out or you don't want the junk to come out, you know? So as long as you pick a costume that fits you, like, like, it's you, like, you could cosplay any character. So, yeah. Body positivity. Yeah. Um, what do you do at conventions? Okay, um, you can do anything at conventions. Uh, usually most conventions will have a, um, arcade area. And the main thing that people like to go to is the shopping area or the vendor area where you can buy fan art, plush swords, hats, accessories, clothes, buy anything there. Um, then there is the eating area there's usually a couple of auditoriums where they do like like music video contests um raves they'll do raves there uh you could do photo shoots there's a lot of photo shoots that go on at conventions um there's a lot of performances that go on at conventions there's usually a masquerade that goes at conventions which is a bunch of people cosplaying skits of their um fandom either like there's i mean just go look into your local Cons. They usually have an event page on their website, so yeah. But you could just do so much there. Where can I get materials to make my cosplay? Okay, 
two big stores that are, that you can get materials to sew is Joann's and Michael's. They, they, those are great stores of cosplay. You can find online stores that sell those kind of things. And another good place to hit up is thrift shops and Goodwill because they have a lot of vintage vintage finds and a lot of actually really good clothes. A lot of clothes that I use when I make my cosplays, I have gotten from Goodwill or thrift stores. So yeah, um, I don't know why I always do this. It just, yeah. What makeup should I buy? Or do I have to buy makeup slash wigs? Um, I think that you, personally, if you're gonna ask me if makeup and wigs are a must, I think that they are for certain characters. It depends on who you're cosplaying as. Like. You're not going to cosplay Goku without a wig. Simple fact. Um, but if you're cosplaying a character that's close to your natural hair color, um, then that's fine. You know, if, like if you're you have blonde hair and you want to cosplay Yang from Ruby, that's cool. You know, do whatever you want. And with makeup, uh, you don't need to go full out on the makeup, but sometimes a bit of concealer or foundation can go a long way. So I always think that um, you should pack some. Concealer or foundation. So, yeah. Um, what are some good places to buy costumes? Now, this varies. Um, before you buy any costumes online, uh, go and research the website that you're cosplay, like you're buying cosplays from, and look at the reviews. And if the reviews are good, then you're good. And usually, if you're on eBay or Amazon, if the the reviews for if the seller rating is over ninety eight, then you're good. You're, you're you should be good to go. Just make sure to give those people your exact measurements. Um, and keep in touch with them and keep in touch with the shipping and um, where the destination of the product is. All right, what if I can't find people in my fandom? Now, this is really impossible. Like, if you can't find people in your fandom, your fandom must be really obscure, but there's always going to be at least one other person that's going to be in your fandom, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, what do I pack slash bring? Um, if you are staying only for the day, you're not doing any overnight stuff, definitely pack bring a backpack with you, bring money, bring your ID, because you might need your ID for certain things or events. Um, bring water, because you're going to be walking a lot. And bring a camera, because you're going to want to take pictures, you know? I mean, I remember I took a lot of pictures on my cell phone at Kinetic on 2012, and it was, like, really awesome. And then somebody deleted them all. My phone got stolen, and all the photos got deleted, and I was really upset. Um, the pictures I showed you, my Ula La cosplay in 2012 were from somebody's DVR that took a picture of me, so. Um, yeah, and bring the charger with you. That's about it. Yeah, that's about it. If you're staying overnight, you're obviously going to have to pack like you would pack for maybe a sleepover, but just for a few weeks, you know, depending on how much stuff you have. I always suggest to make a list, and I'm going to make a future video about what I pack for conventions, especially when I'm staying overnight. So stay tuned for that one. Um, how do I ask for another cosplayer's picture? Now, this is a tricky question because some people in the cosplay community can be very shy, um, socially introverted. And this, this is cosplay is a place where they can open up and be themselves. Um, now, most people will be fine with you taking a picture when you ask them first. Never take another cosplayer's picture without consent. Always ask for a photo. To say, hey, you know what, your costume looks really good. I was wondering if maybe if you had a second, if I could take a photo. And most of the time, they will say yes. You know, just give them a minute to just pose or do whatever. Um, if they are sitting down and eating, that is not a really good time to ask for a cosplay photo because chances are they've been walking around the convention center all day. They're tired. Their feet hurt. They just want to relax. So I would not ask for a cosplayer's picture while they're eating. Um, do not ask for a cosplayer's picture in the bathroom because they're probably tidying their wig up or doing their makeup or doing some personal hygiene stuff. You know, so don't do that. Um, but other than that, most cosplayers will be okay with me taking their picture. Um, how should I behave in the hotel? This is going to be for my next video. Okay, so you, I'm going to answer this question in the next video. So stay tuned.